Hi, I'm Thomas Larsen, uh, here from Orlando, Florida, with a recap of the PBA Players Championship. So the Players Championship was divided into five regions, and I bowled in the south. Uh, we bowled on two different patterns, the first one being chameleon, 39 feet, fairly tricky. And I got off to a pretty bad start, honestly. I started with the UC3, the new ball, the urethane ball from Rotogrip. And I think I just created a little too much angle to start. Got my angle straightened out a little bit, my technique, my, my physical game figured out a little bit better. And um, I threw the UC3 for the first three, four games, I think. Then I switched to the RST X2 when I jumped left. And then the, um, the Rubicon UC2 at the end. I ended up with uh, 180 over and sitting in fifth which is the last spot for the show after the first block so going into the second block I was pretty confident I felt like I had a decent idea of what I had to do on the fresh and we get out there and I don't know if it was the pair we started on or if it was just the squat in general but they played way tighter to the right like way more out of bounds and I actually started um, first frame uh, getting three off the right and then this in my spare shot I threw what I thought was gonna be an okay shot and only got the uh, one two one two seven so I had three three the first frame ended up shooting 160 something that game but again I, I bounced back pretty well after that ended up going to my uh, idol and hooking it a little bit more which gave me a really good look for a few games. Actually had the front 10 one game, but then when when that went away, uh, I had nothing like, and so did uh, a lot of the other players in the squad. And I ended up finishing, I, I wouldn't say I bowled bad the last three games, but I didn't have very much reaction, like uh, missing the pocket quite a few times each game and win got to the pocket it was fairly difficult to strike so I ended up shooting around 20 or 30 over that squad which wasn't great but I only lost about what did I lose about 30 20 or 30 pins to the to the top five so it wasn't that bad then on Sunday we moved into the second pattern which was dragon uh, 45 feet and when we practiced on dragon it felt really really easy so I was expecting the scores to be quite a bit higher and we got started and I tried to play pretty straight with my reality to start but it I was kind of caught in between if it was a little firm with it it wouldn't quite finish and if I caught it a little bit I was a little too straight with it for it to stay online so I shot 2-0 uh, the first game then I, I switched balls, started searching around a little bit, but it took me a little bit to, to figure out a good uh, good ball motion, good reaction. And then I had a bit decent look throwing a mixture of my phase two and then switched to the altered reality, which was the one that really gave me a good look. I finished with uh, 10 in a row, one game for 260, and then had, uh, had a pretty good look for the rest of the squad. I didn't put together any huge scores, the last parts of the squad, and the lanes got a little tricky towards the end, but I managed to, to finish off pretty well. I think I had like 150 over, which scores were higher, but I still managed to move up to sixth place, uh, only being about 15 pins out of the, the show going into the last block. So last block, I, I wanted to make sure that my spare shooting was on point. I had missed a few spares, nothing major, but definitely below my normal standards. So that was a focus, and then I wanted to get off to a good start. And I felt like I was throwing the ball well the first game, but I just didn't have the greatest look. I was throwing a phase two on the right lane and proton phase six on the left lane, and it just didn't look right. I opened on the right lane, decided to switch ball, switch to the proton physics on both lanes and I went strike nine spare turkey it's for to shoot 190 or 180 the first game. So not great. I knew I, I was gonna fall behind the cut a little bit and then I managed to to fight back ball some decent games to get a little bit closer again. 
I think I got to within 20 or 30 of the cut and then uh, the last four games I actually bowled really really well physically I think I had one who really did a good job of controlling the pocket I just couldn't strike like I would go 4 pin then I would go 10 pin 10 pin and it would be like a ring 10 then a flat 10 then a light 10 then I would leave it like a floor 7 I would get a double here and there but nothing major and I just I couldn't put any scores together also I, had, I think I had a 8 pin in there, I had a light 6 7 in there. I was just, it, it was rough, like just uh, to get anything going. And it wasn't like the scores were definitely higher than what I was shooting, but it wasn't like they were running away from me. I just couldn't get that 250 or 260 game to get back in the hunt. So, going into the last couple games, I needed to shoot a really big score and it just wasn't happening. I tried different balls. I, I tried throwing the altered reality, I tried throwing the Sen, I tried throwing a UC2 and it just wasn't really happening. So I I felt like I was close. I was making adjustments uh, from pair to pair and I, I balled well enough. I just didn't strike enough. Uh, as it turned out, I ended up finishing the last game going double, spare, double for 217 and I needed I needed another seven pins to go from 10th to 7th place but in the end I ended up finishing 10 which is about 70 pins out of the show which is I guess both a decent start to the season finishing 10th in the first tournament cashing uh, being in the hunt for the show but at the same time, it's also a little disappointing. I definitely felt like I had a chance at making this show and that it was a very makeable show. I didn't ball great. I balled great at times, um, but I also balled pretty bad at times. I made some mistakes, missed a few spares. I didn't miss enough spares to where I could have made up 70 pins. And I made quite a few splits too, so it was more a matter of me getting lined up better quicker especially on the fresh to make up those pins and then striking more uh, at, in the end of the the last block would have made a difference too but good start to the season pretty happy with my feel for for the technique i was able to fix the issues i felt i was happy having so uh, it gives me some confidence for the rest of the year and i look forward to keep going uh, next big tournament is going to be the US Open in a couple weeks so please stay tuned here on Emacs Bowling to, to follow and I'll be updating with more vlogs and on social media so please subscribe here and be sure to check back for more videos.